Billy here, keeping on the eyes in soap. Um, I'm making a peppermint foot scrubby soap. Um, my second time only using the direct heat transfer method. So I've got my um, lye water here, which I've just made, so it's really, really hot. And here I have my coconut oil, rice bran oil and shea butter. I did melt the shea butter. Because I didn't think... Um, the heat of the lye would be enough for that. So, completely dissolved. Pour it through your strainer to make sure. And then use the heat from the lye water to melt down the coconut oil. Did this for the first time yesterday. Thought I'd be a little bit adventurous and make three different colors. Did get quite thick. But then this is 80% coconut oil, this recipe. So no waiting for your lye water to cool down, everything to be similar temperatures, just chuck it in and stir. So this one's 80% coconut oil, 10% rice bran oil, 10% um, organic unrefined shea butter. And it's super fat. Um, what did I do? 25% super fat. So I'll give that a little buzz just to wake up the last of the coconut oil. Beautiful. How easy is that? Um, so this is my peppermint eucalyptus foot scrub bars. So we've got peppermint oil, uh, eucalyptus oil, which I have hopefully anchored in some kaolin clay and some French green clay, which I'll add in now. There's probably a little bit more peppermint oil than you might find comfortable on your um, more sensitive parts of your body. So this is just a foot scrub soap. Nice, refreshing, cooling. take long to trace and to that stay I've got in here a whole heap of pumice ground pumice stone and ground coffee so nice and scrubby pour that in stir it around Probably even a better idea would be to whisk it around, Billy, so we don't get any clumps. There we go. 
doesn't it? Look good enough to eat. Caffeinated mint. Yum. Now this one. I've got my bit of PVC plumber's pipe, which I've put some baking paper on the bottom. I've lined with baking paper. And I'm going to very carefully pour the soap inside. I don't know how well you'll see this since it's up quite close to the camera. Usually comes pretty close to the top this recipe, but I've added all that extra pumice and coffee that may go a little bit too high. I might leave it there. This here one, that one for me. Smells really, really, really good. I love peppermint. Okay, this is going to be a really nice soap. If you um, give your feet a nice soak in some Epsom salts, and then after that, when the skin's all softened up, you get this soap and scrub off all that excess dry skin. Beautiful. that you know where you can see it yum okay turn this off for now and we'll come back tomorrow to see it cut I'm back to unmold and cut the peppermint foot scrub soap hopefully it comes out nice and easily <clears throat> Not too hard. Take the baking paper off. There we go. Just mark it and then um, come back to cut it. Okay, ready to cut. Not a lot to see. Smells really, really nice. Of course, it's got peppermint in it. See the pumice stone, the coffee grounds.
So there we go, all cut. Um, this is the one that I did separately. So this one has not gelled. You can see such a huge difference in the colour. So exactly the same soap, same recipe, just gelled, ungelled.